I don't know if everybody is ready for this kind of conversation today, but what we can tell you say, is this. This has hurt some feelings. This has hurt some feelings. This has exposed some things. But this is a conversation worth having. And again, we are on Lives Cartel's Twitter page. Welcome to SoFlo TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Vibes Cartel, random thoughts. Cartel leave something up here that says this. Look at the size of Europe and Africa and then think about this. Why weren't the Chinese enslaved and brought here? Because in the entire history of Earth, no race has allowed themselves to be treated the way that we were treated by others. The white man, the Chinese, the Indian. Why you think all races look down on us? Why do you think we face racism the worst? Black people, we're so fucking weak. It pains my heart. Laugh out loud. Look at the size of Europe. Then look at Africa. You do the math. That is very, very, very deep. Look at the size of Europe and Africa and then think about this. Why weren't the Chinese enslaved and brought here? Now, people, let, let's break down all this that he has said and put it into context. Why weren't the Chinese enslaved and brought here? He goes on to say that someone said, um, give me liberty or give me death, right? Okay. Check it. The Chinese stand very much with give me liberty or give me death. Okay? The Chinese stand very much with give me liberty or give me death. They are very proud people. They are a set of people. This is what has enabled the Chinese to actually, especially in Jamaica and other Caribbean islands, not let alone their great kingdom of China. They are in control. White man don't control China. White man control most of Africa today. In 2016, 2017, today. White men control most of Africa. Black people, when you hear that. Right? So, white men do not control China. They are ruled by Chinese people. Okay? They have their own system of laws, rules, and regulations that are non-conformed to that of Europeans. They are in control of their own. That is the reason why. They do not follow the white man's religion. They do not follow the white man's diet. The way how the white man eats. The way how the white man sleeps. The way how the white man structures his family. The way how the white man relates to other people and himself. The way how the white man conducts business. The way how the white man does anything, they do not imitate it. They do not practice it. They do not conform to any of it. Them have their own system of beliefs. You understand? And they are a very proud people. Now, I remember telling somebody this, so I'm going to say it again. There was a little documentary going on where um, this Chinese man was saying, I think the documentary is called Chinese Jamaica's Forgotten Race or something like that. You can look it up on YouTube. Okay? The and it was a guy that was speaking about how, you know, he remember his great grandparents and his grandparents and now himself and how they used to go back and forth to China and Jamaica and now in Jamaica they own a bunch of wholesale places. And of course the family have money and they live above normal means then. They are financially secured in Jamaica then. Right? Them have good money. Okay? And he's saying that people seem to forget that they are Jamaicans. A Jamaica him born. A Jamaica, Emma tell me say a Jamaica him parents born. His grandparents were born in Jamaica. 
his great-grandparents came from China in search of a better life in Jamaica and actually ended up finding it. I've heard through history that they came as indentured servants, meaning them are the ones them that was in charge of keeping the slaves in check, maybe, or they were the ones that worked and worked and paid for their land through labor, and then after that, them were able to accumulate enough. Either case, it is their unity, it is their group economics that allows them to be stronger than the black race. It is their unity and their group economics that allows them to flourish in the way that they have flourished and continue to flourish. I heard a Chinese man said one day, he said, the black man, uh, he's there. We have nothing with the black man. We neither hate him or have anything against him or we are not in cahoots with him. He's just there. He's just there. The white man, we are in competition with. And we will surpass him in every single way over time. So if you think the Chinese aren't working at world dominance, you're damn wrong. Okay? Every nation that is their, that is their stick is to dominate earth. And the Chinese are very well on their way. Check your house. 90% of the way in your house probably says made in China on it. A lot of y'all wearing Gucci, Fendi, Prada, all these European brands. Half of your shit is probably made in China too. Okay? The Chinese has cornered every market. They're unified. They're strong as hell. They say, no, nobody can touch me and get away with it. Even if we have to kill ourselves in the process of killing you, you're going to respect our traditions and our way of life. If we cannot live this way, how we choose to live and see... Um, our way of worship and our God and this and that. If we cannot come and live freely, then we would rather die and we will kill you in the process. Have you forgotten the kamikaze missions that they flew? Where they strapped up their planes with bombs, filled up their planes with fuel, <coughs> said goodbye to their family, and drove their planes into American things, ships that were at sea crashed them mid-air that were coming to war with them. So these people are serious. But the black men on the other hand, what we say is, uh, they gave us their religion. And what we say is, uh, you can abuse me. I don't even care if you abuse me my whole life. My treasures are not on earth. My treasures are with my Lord in heaven. So I will take my sufferation while I'm here because he who suffers greatly and suffers long shall surely be rewarded in the kingdom of heaven. And, ha, and, and we suffer along, we live a long life of poverty and sufferation and we die and they throw us in the friggin' ground like everybody else goes and or cremate we or whatever and that's the end of us and we never came and lived a life full of progress and a life full of things, because things is what matter on earth, okay? We never came and lived a life full of material things, some wealth. We didn't accumulate any wealth so we can hand it down or pass it forward. That is what these Chinese people have been able to do. The Indians do it, the Chinese do it, Middle Easterners do it. Why the hell can't black people do it? Because we black people have taken on the ways of Europeans. They gave us the religion they wanted to give us and that in itself has mind fucked and controlled the black race and will continue to control us for some very long time to come. In the process of doing that, it has instilled in us that we must be obedient to our masters. We ha <laughs> ha! Slavery is okay. We must be obedient to our masters. And all them kind of things up. So we cannot let go of these things. We are dependent on them. Black people work so hard and we can't keep our money in our own community. A lot of us work one, two, three jobs and then take with money and go buy Gucci. Gucci 
she don't give a damn about you. You can't afford Gucci. You need to be able to afford to pay off a house. You need, you need to be able to afford to pay off a house and have enough money stashed up in the bank for your children to give you a nice burial, continue to live in that house, and improve on that house, be able to pay the land taxes and continue to own it so they can pass it to your grandchildren so they in their lifetime won't have to worry about somewhere to live. They can focus on other things like education. They can focus on other things like becoming dominant in the world. They can focus on other things like self-realization, like maximizing their true potentials, them kind of thing that instead of focusing on fighting poverty, more I preach, but I'm not to hear me. I'm not talk about no church ceremony preaching. I'm talking about some knowledge preaching. You understand? Here what I'm going to do though, because the video I get long, and I know say a lot of people have short attention span, so we're going to cut this one somewhere around here. What I'm going to say is, this is another one of Vibes Cartel's random thoughts taken and inspired from and by Vibes Cartel's Twitter page because that's our way we did. The man said, in the history of Earth, no race has allowed themselves to be treated the way that we have allowed ourselves to be treated by others. And then we turn around and friend the people them that treated us like that. And then we are so... Divided. If you walk in our room where five black people in there, you're going to run into a Muslim, a Christian, a Hindu, a Jew, and a something else or the other. And based on this alone, they are going to have squabbles with each other and cannot unify on the one basis of their Africanness. The SoFlow TV man, y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave your thoughts and comments down as so in the comment section. These things, these things, Vice Cartel provoking thought once again. Alright? Black people, we're so freaking weak. It pains my heart. I'm out of here. Strength up. Peace.